this crowd we have this morning. This is pretty great. My name is Tammy Polanski and I'm on staff here at the Association and I am very pleased to welcome so many of you here this morning on behalf of our President, Ralph Pontillo, our Board of Governors and our staff uh, to this morning's Eggs and Issues. Uh, this is quite a crowd we have here this morning. I can tell you the last time we saw so many people in this room was when John Kansas was here himself. Uh, before beginning, I'd like to recognize some of our board members who are with us here this morning. Uh, Mr. John Klein, President of Sunburst Electronics. Welcome, John. Mr. Dale Dice, President of Dice Industries. Dale. Ms. Sue Seto, President and Owner of Sue Seto Realtors. And Mr. Phil Treadway, President of Very Molded Plastics. Very nice to see them. We also have some past chairmen with us this morning. Mr. Jim Rakowski, Jr., President of Industrial Sales and Manufacturing. I know we've got the whole Rakowski family here, so it's nice to see all of you as well. Mr. Dave Bell, President of Erie Drivetrain. And Mr. Frank Gerlach with Kaiser Aluminum. Very nice to have all of them with us here this morning as well. Well, I think it's safe to say that everyone in this room knows someone who has uh, had their life changed by a diagnosis of cancer. Nearly two years ago, we welcomed John Kansas to this podium to speak about what many believe will be his greatest invention, a device to destroy cancer. Sadly, John did not live long enough to see his dream carried out. Uh, he passed away this past February at his winter home in Sanibel uh, Island, Florida. But John's death marks a renewed focus for his family, his friends, his colleagues, and his supporters who are with us here this morning and who are dedicated to ensuring that his dream is realized. By being here today, all of you are taking part in making sure that John's dream is a reality. The net proceeds from this morning's breakfast will be donated to benefit the John Kansas Cancer Research Foundation whose mission it is to create regional and national awareness of the potentials of this important therapy and to accelerate the speed at which that research will progress. This morning we are pleased to welcome two individuals who play a critical role in the areas of research and awareness. who are here to give us an update as to the progress that is being made on Kansas cancer killing device. Dr. Stephen Curley of the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center is the chief project researcher for the John Kansas non-invasive radio wave treatment. In addition to his work as lead investigator on the Kansas research, Dr. Curley is a principal investigator on a number of protocols and oversees a research lab dedicated to the radio wave treatment. Dr. Curley also is a professor of surgery and chief of gastrointestinal cancer care at MD Anderson, and we welcome Dr. Curley here this morning. Also with us is Mr. Mark Knighting. He is the executive director of the John Kansas Cancer Research Foundation. Mark brings nearly 30 years experience in management and corporate giving, and he was selected following an extensive national search by the Kansas Foundation Board of Directors. Ladies and gentlemen, first to the podium will be Dr. Curley, but would you please join me in welcoming both Dr. Curley and Mr. Knighting as our guests this morning. Okay, as long as everybody can hear me, I'm, I'm not somebody who's good at being tied down to a podium. I like to wander a little bit. But if you need me to go back to the microphone, let me know. Well, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here in Erie. Uh, I love coming up here. Obviously, it's a bit bittersweet, but it's going to be sweet in that we do get to uh, enjoy a wedding tomorrow, which we're looking forward to. Um, but it's also a great opportunity for me to reconnect with people who I now consider friends in this community and to give you an update on where we're at with this research. I know people were concerned with John's passing that somehow we would lose momentum. And I'm here to tell you first and foremost, not only have we not lost momentum, we have gained momentum. Well, I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit of a history here because I think it's important. Some of you already know this history. Some of you may not have heard it. 
Uh, this is a picture of John and I uh, at the Cancer Center here in Erie. Uh, John and I go back to April 2005 when uh, one of my colleagues at MD Anderson, uh, Professor Michael Keating, asked me to give his patient a call because uh, this man was interested in some of the research I was doing. And so I said, well, sure, I'll be happy to do that. And so I called John. Never met him, didn't know him, didn't know anything about it. He explained his idea, his machine, knew some of the research I'd done on radio wave treatments, other types of treatments involving electrical stimulation, etc. And I politely told him, well, yeah, this is an interesting idea, and I think it would work, but there's a few problems, and if you could build me a machine that would do, you know, a couple of things that are a little different, I'd be interested. Well, I told you I didn't know John because I'm going to be very blunt and honest, and Mary Ann knows this. She's heard me tell this story. I really thought I'd never talk to John again. That's because I didn't know John. <laughs> John quickly uh, called my bluff and called me a month later and said, okay, I've got it. I said, okay, now I guess i got to look into this. <laughs> so uh, after uh, quickly figuring out I was dealing with a, a very powerful force here, uh, came up to Pittsburgh, uh, put some of these nanoparticles into John's radio wave machine and was absolutely flabbergasted by the response we got. We got heating unlike anything I would have ever anticipated or expected. So this led to a, a long journey then of involving a number of people and we'll talk a little bit more about that history. But this is what led to where we're at now and this is what started this whole process. So John, uh, as you know, here, here at Industrial Sales, uh, working with the Rakowskis, uh, was a very uh, powerful man, very innovative, very ingenious, uh, but also very reflective about this. John and I spent a lot of time talking in person and on the phone. We would go over ideas, we had a lot of fun bouncing ideas back and forth and a lot of interchange. And so uh, it was really a, a great opportunity for me to interact with somebody who was sort of a kindred spirit. I, I've also got obviously to meet his family here, uh, his daughter uh, Sherry getting married tomorrow, his other daughter Tony, obviously Mary Ann, uh, his son-in-law Todd. Now you can tell a little bit of difference about people from pictures. Uh, you see this is a picture, uh, I'm a surgeon and a researcher. Uh, obviously, I've got the beer out there in full presence. <laughs> Bob, Bob is an attorney. He's kind of trying to hide it there under his arm. 